Hey guys, welcome back. I want to talk a little bit more about blood lactate or lactic acid, how it affects performance and how we can measure it. So first, where does blood lactate come from? Blood lactate comes from the breakdown of glucose. As you see here, I have a glucose molecule, a nice little pretty glucose molecule here for you. When we break down glucose, it goes through a process called glycolysis. The end product of glycolysis is what we call pyruvate. Okay, and pyruvate is what glucose turns into after it goes through glycolysis. And this is important because pyruvate is actually where blood lactate or lactic acid comes from. Pyruvate can actually drop into the electron transport train, the Krebs cycle, and it can undergo aerobic respiration. We're not worried about that. In non-oxygenated conditions, like when we're doing anaerobic exercise, pyruvate can turn into, you guessed it, lactate or lactic acid. They're a little different, but for now, think of them as the same. So this process can actually go both ways. Lactate can turn back into pyruvate. Pyruvate can turn into lactate. But as we exercise, if we're exercising at a high enough intensity, this is gonna start to accumulate in the blood. Blood lactate is gonna elevate and that's gonna affect performance. Now in a previous video I mentioned, it's not actually the blood lactate that is affecting performance, but this process which gives us hydrogen ions that's the problem, we're not worrying about that. What we're worrying about right now is the accumulation of blood lactate. Again, comes from the breakdown of glucose, turning into pyruvate, and then we can get lactate. All right, enough on that. When we exercise, as we're exercising throughout time, as it gets harder, here's a nice little graph for you, our intensity is going up and up and up and up. There's a lot of different things in the research that looks at the onset of blood lactate. We'll hear things called the ventilatory threshold, the anaerobic threshold, uh, the lactate threshold. These are all different names that are put out for changing from an aerobic to an anaerobic state. But one that really stands true and that we can measure is called the onset of blood lactate accumulation or OBLA, O-B-L-A, onset of blood lactate accumulation. And this usually happens at four, this can't see that, four, 0.0 millimoles, which is the unit of measurement for blood lactate. Once we get to four millimoles, that's the onset of blood lactate accumulation, and we can expect it to go up from there as we continue to exercise. The cool thing is we can actually measure our blood lactate using a simple prick, finger prick method, uh, similar to how we measure our blood glucose. Same thing, we take a finger prick, of our blood and it analyzes the blood lactate and it'll tell us these are really cheap devices that we can get it'll help us show our blood lactate as we're exercising or at any point and we can see when do we get to 4.0 when do we get to the onset of blood lactate accumulation at what point in our training intensity does that happen and as we train harder and harder for improvements we can try and bring that number down or at least make it so that we're training harder and getting a lesser amount of blood lactate okay so that's where blood lactate comes from that's how we can measure it and that's how we can use it to increase performance. Thanks, guys. I'm Kaylin Angloss. We'll talk to you next time.